Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And listen up, man. If you don't want to waste VC on your first builds, you're gonna want to watch this video, man. Insightful Swan is going to review Uncle Demi's video. If y'all didn't know Uncle Demi, man, he's real close with 2K, head of the Next Maker program, etc. So you know, maybe he's had a hand in something with 2K23. You know. He be talking like he played it or, or, or he knows some stuff, man. And it's it's very important that you listen, man, <laughs> to me. <laughs> Don't be Genjutsu, okay? Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Help me get 500 likes. Turn on them post notice. If you don't want to waste your VC in 2K23. NBA 2K23 build. Okay. The dope thing is, is that there's so many new changes to it. So this is the first one that he has. This is the first, like, it's my NBA 2K23 build video. So, you know, he, he trying to tell you something here. But obviously the My Player Builder is going to be pretty much the same. There will be a little. <laughs> he said it's going to be pretty much the same. Bro, I've been telling y'all this. This is why you, you got to watch the swan. <laughs> A bit of differences but at the same token you're going to be able to get an idea by looking at what i'm making now okay um uh -huh. the one he said pretty much the same i also heard but it's going to be pretty much the same but more nerfed that, that, that that's that's what i heard i think here i would say you can go small forward or shooting guard with this um i want to try to make something so he's saying small forward or shooting guards are viable man with this ability finish show he, he's probably saying that there isn't much of a difference between the two, pay attention. That is a really, really dominant slasher um, build. So um, you can- Slasher build. Guys, do not be fooled. They say, or I heard the shooting was gonna be more like 21 current gen. If you ever played that, it was a um, harder shooting 2K for the bots, right? Um, well, just for everyone in general. So if you go and make a straight slasher, I know you old heads are really gonna go crazy. Especially since they talking about this bully badge and all this OP slashing and how you're not going to get blocked with fancy dunks now. Guys, if you can't shoot, you're done. Your team's done. Okay? You have to make a build that can shoot the three and slash. If you're ass, you're going to have to have more shooting. If you're decent, you might be able to get by with lower shooting. It's a fact. I know you rent niggas is getting a little too happy. Boy, you gonna still be, you gonna be getting destroyed even worse, man. Come on, man. You can go either small forward or um, shooting guard, doesn't matter. I'm going 23, cause this is gonna be something similar to an MJ build. Ooh, MJ build. Leak, 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 OP. Um, So you wanna go 6'6", 218, uh -oh. leak, cause leak. you wanna get your- Ooh, 218, is this, is this the weight we gonna wanna have? strength at least is 60 okay um at least have your strength at 60 you always he's saying you at least want your strength at 60 for a slasher-esque build pay attention just want to have your wingspan maxed out. maybe that's a cap for the bully badge maybe it's a cap to have it on silver or gold pay attention out and body type i went to find right drop a like all right i went six six with this but the cool thing is now with the bully badge, speed does not matter. Speed does um, not matter. Because the same what? way that a little guard try to get open, the bully badge will allow you to get open by just going to the rack. Whoa, speed don't matter. Nigga, what? <laughs> well, speed's never really matter. Speed is more for um, running around without the ball. Your acceleration is your actual movement with the ball, if you guys didn't know. But um, I guess he's saying speed isn't tied to the bully badge because just running through people. I, I think, I, I I think man, yeah, whatever. Being stronger and being able to get by people. So there is going to be a shift there. Guys, keep in mind if you have slow speed, it's going to be hard to keep up with them left riders. Oh oh, I know they said it was patch, but I'm just letting you know that a lot of y'all are going to have to you know break out of. And I think that's the hardest thing that you're going to have to do is to bring that mindset of 2K22 and not bring it into 2K23. You have to basically look at 2K23 like it's look a brand new game. That. If you try to make your builds like you did in 2K22, you're going to have difficulties because you're not going to be able to make it the exact same way. And then 
you ain't gonna be able to make it the same way is he is he hinting that it's nerfed also the build is not going to perform the same way okay Ooh, so keep that in mind ain't gonna perform um, the same. and then what i did here is this right and this is right here is just going to be again trying to get where i feel this is going to be the best right okay. so i went 90 with the driving layup right i God went 90 damn. driving layup because i want to at least have my um fearless finisher on gold okay so i want to at least have fear, fearless yeah. finisher on gold what? and then of course That's i'm maxing out all the way 99 on dunk 99 dunk nigga tripping demi i love you but look nigga guys if you're not making no youtube video don't do this 99 dunk shit unless he's trying to say that to get Hall of Fame posterizer, you're gonna need that 99. Y'all, if y'all know the 2K22 next gen builder system, to get certain badges, you have to have the attribute on 99. This is probably what it means, and he's he's probably trying to say that Hall of Fame poster is OD. Um the past years, the Hall of Fame wasn't really about shit. So it wasn't really worth it. Um, and then when you do get a when you get your attribute this high, you're gonna have less attributes for everything else. So I don't think it's worth it to, to be a 99 driving dunk, bro. It's just, that, that sounds crazy, bro. This is more of a risky thing. I wouldn't make a risky build in the start. You would want to see other people perform with this and make sure it's not like a clickbait video. Like, you know, you have friends and are streamers and you see, you know, you don't want to do this for a first build for a risk. You know, you want a safe build for your first build so you can use it throughout the year, you know? Oh, because I want to get the Hall of Fame posterizer. Um, and also keep Type in mind, shit. your driving layups, you know, if you want to get long athletic athlete and that type of deal, you have to get your driving layups now um, to at least an 80, right? Okay. Leak, leak, leak. Long athlete, you gotta have a, a 80. Long athlete wasn't really good, so um, these past couple years, it kind of nerfed it type shit, so I don't know. But hop steps are back, so maybe it's OP again, so. So keep that in mind. Also, if you wanna have quick drops off one, um, front clutches, cradles, all these dunk packages that's, that you used to get when you were a smaller guard that you uh -huh. could get, Obviously, now you're gonna have to have at least an 80 plus driving dunk. So, you need an 80 plus driving dunk to get all them uh, clean uh, dunks. So, if you're a smaller guard, understand when you get the game, make sure you know you check the animations. That's always the most important thing to do. Do not make your build and put VC in it. So, what I do is, or what I would recommend for you to do, is just make your build what you think of that you theoretically would like, load into the, um, the city and then go straight to animations. Don't add VC to your build. All right, see, this is smart. Hey, so he's kind of telling you that you ain't gonna be able to see the animations when you're making your build and to just make something you wanna see and then go look at the animations. That, that's, a, that's a very smart thing. Be careful, don't just upgrade. Look at the animations you get. You don't wanna be one off and then eventually remake a whole build man, fuck 2k giving these niggas all that money man jet go to animations and look you like oh snap like i only have you know uh blase blah you know ball handle but i if i want to get these animations i need this right so write it all down on paper so you know exactly what animations you want to have and then go back and then tweak your build and then go back into the city and then put your vc in I know a lot of people that just get so happy, they make their build, they put the VC in, they and all that type of stuff, then they go to animations, the quick stuff, and they're like, oh snap, like my build actually can't get this, this, and this, all right? So keep that in mind, all right? Um, then on my standing dunk, we're going 72 on the standing dunk. 72 standing dunk, nigga. And that's because I just want to get the fast twitch, right? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I yes boy remember now we do have some other new bad bad um badges we have bully badge we have masher those are really the two badges that you really want to look at okay when okay. you're making this build make sure you can get your bully badge and your mat your masher at least hall of fame okay God post control damn. i'm going 84. now reason why i'm doing that is because yes this would be more of a like God an mj damn. kobe bryant type build so again i have post control with this build 
but obviously this is all about what you want with the build but hey, post fades and finishing are going to be really really op this year so i repeat post fades and finishing is going to be really really op this year but guess what guys post fades have been and finishing has been very very op every year post fades and finishing at the basket are going to be really op so take it how you want to take it all right um mid-range shot you want to go um 80 on your mid-range shot uh you want to go 70 on your three ball we're not really worrying that much what? about the three ball nigga bro guys guys they saying this shooting is gonna be harder listen if you're not good you're gonna need a higher three than this seriously bro or you're gonna be holding your team back you know only only make a build like this you know if you're just trying to have fun if you don't you don't give a fuck whatever but if you're trying to like be nice and have pick up like teammates if you're not too good you might want to knock down that goddamn finish and, and up the three my boy i'm telling you you gotta be able to shoot when you're able to shoot it makes slashing even easier guys because then they have to play two different ways, man. But you can go 70 on that three ball. And then we're just not going to worry about free throw. We did put mm. 27 there. These are kind of like just throw. Damn, a slasher build with no free throw? Niggas ain't going to play rec? People be making uh, slashers to be in the rec. Four way attributes. Um, pass accuracy is going to be important this year. Um, there is no bullet passer. Uh -huh. So you do want to at least have a 70 pass accuracy. Lisa Anything below that, you're going to really tell a difference because pass act. Leak, 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 leak. You don't want below a second. Accuracy basically has bullet passer and um, your actual pass accuracy all in one. So if you have a low pass accuracy, you, the ball is going to be really, really slow. You get really terrible pass animations. So you want to at least have a 70. Ball handle 75. Remember, you are going to, you're a slasher, but you also have a different. Remember, this is again, do not bring 22 to 23. You're going to have to, you're going to see that. Yeah, pro drip animation is all you're gonna need because bully badge and mash. Pro is all you're gonna need because you're gonna be able to run through people type shit. Sure is really what's gonna allow you to get by your defenders, okay? Understand that. Speed with balls, the same thing. So, man, I don't know, bro. I'm gonna have to ask Demi, are you gonna be able to run through lockdowns? People that are as big as you. Because if people is just making these slasher builds to run through a a play shot is it's ridiculous big builds have never been stopped by play shots so i don't i don't know man hey do not have to worry about being so fast with the ball because you're a bully yeah. you get through that okay so this is what Slow we're going to work with you still get your pro dribble animations um you still have a decent Slow amount of speed MJ. but you're not again you don't need that crazy amount of speed because one lockdowns are really really good this year and two bully badge is actually going to be Bro, I'd have knocked out a lot of that finishing, up that three, max that speed with ball. I don't play with that speed with ball shit. The new wave, like it's gonna be the new badge that's really, really, really gonna be OP and broken, okay? Um, perimeter defense, I go 85. Um, it's still gonna be a perimeter yeah. defense is still associated with lateral quickness, but I still wanna make sure I have my gold defensive badges. Uh -huh. I'm always, always, always gonna focus on defense. So he's saying 85 is the, is the shit. So I'm gonna go there, and then I'm gonna go 86 with steel, because I want to get the gold pickpocket. I'm gonna okay. go 65 on block because I do want to make sure I still have intimidator, right? Um, and again, if you can't get intimidator on gold, definitely try that when you're working on your build. This right here is a different builder, so again, but you definitely want to try to do that. My rebounding, I want to get at least on 50 on each because even though I do not have rebound chaser, um, I still know that. The, as a slider going 50 50 this is kind of like default you're going to have better opportunities to get rebounds than anything else okay um and then on your speed you want to go 75 with speed again it is not a big thing this year niggas is gonna get it. bro if there's any type of dribbling your build's getting cooked this is center speed boy um as far as speed right here is just really just holding r2 running back and up and down the court in transition okay so again you do not need that type of speed. Acceleration though, you wanna max that all the way out. And then again, you wanna max out your strength at, to at least 60. Mm. That's gonna give you everything you need as far as your bully badge. And then your vert, you wanna get at least to 80 um, okay. because obviously leak, leak. these are gonna give you all your elite dunk packages, okay? And then your stamina, 
you can get your stamina. Guys, if y'all ever make a build like this, you're not playing with me. <laughs> Type shit. So, as you see, you have 28, 17, 17, and 16. So obviously, as you can tell, there is a lot of Hall of Fame badges and a, and a lot of emphasis on finishing at the basket. Um, uh -huh. The big thing here, the reason why I wanted um, the Fade Ace, at least on Hall of Fame, so I got that, so I need that, mid, that 80 mid-range jump shot. So that's the reason why I did that. But as you're gonna tell, again, that, two take, that 2K23, my, I'm 22 mindset, you're gonna have a hard time if you try to bring it in 23. This build right here is gonna be very, very deadly, all right? Um, and I definitely recommend people trying it out. The badges that we're gonna go with, okay. I went with finishing moves. Um, you do have easy blow buys, but you don't really need that anymore with the bully badge. Mm. So I wanna go with finishing open. moves to make sure I really do finish strong at the basket. Okay. Now you do have opportunity for lockdown, but I went with post daggers, which gives you a large boost to post Toxic. hook, fades, up and number shimmies, and post Toxic. shots. Just because I wanna be able to work in the post, Toxic. finish strong at the basket, be able to hit Toxic. post fades, that type of deal. Another one that will be really dope is the um, post spins, fakes, drives, and clear outs. That's another good one to have. Um, it's, again, that's just all about finishing, but if you wanna shoot at the basket, I'll do that. You do have opportunities for lock take two, which is really dope. And then of course you do have, again, which is pretty dope, shot creating badges and another. Damn, so this like really gonna be the same shit cause he's not saying that like shit missing. Of course, of course you know the ankle breaking shots are gonna be really OP also, okay? So that's what I went with. I heard ankle breakers are gonna be very OP guys. There, um, and um, here you have it my nephews and nieces. This is what we're looking at. With this build, it's a two-way finisher. Again, this is again like a, a build that's gonna be able to do a lot of everything. It's a new type of build. This build might not have been the most OP in 22, but in 23, it's gonna be amazing, okay? So there you have it, hopefully enjoy. Man, y'all rate the build down below. Y'all let me know if y'all want to make a build like this, man. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. Turn on post notes, drop a like. Go check out my other two, 2K23 video. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.